Narcissists are competitive, entitled, and hate seeing others happy. Therefore, a lot of their existence is spent trying to keep others down. Narcissists humble or bring down others to maintain a sense of superiority and control. And they do this through a range of subtle and manipulative tactics that erode the confidence and self-esteem of those around them. So today, I want to quickly go through some of those tactics that narcissists use to keep you humble. Because at the end of the day, the narcissist wants to be the only one who is celebrated. They want to be the only one on top. They want to be the only one to shine and draw attention to themselves. I have eight ways narcissists would try to humble you or keep you down. And one of the first ways would be to withhold praise and validation. So even though you accomplish great things and other people may celebrate your successes, the narcissist will not. Instead, they will withhold compliments or appreciation to make you feel like you are never good enough. They refuse to acknowledge your talents or appreciate your contributions as they do not want you to feel significant or special in any way. This can be very soul-destroying when it is your parent or partner who is the narcissist because by doing this, they prevent you from feeling proud of your accomplishments and keep you in a state of self-doubt, which can create a cycle where you end up constantly seeking the approval yet never getting it. The second way narcissists try to humble you is criticism and belittling. This is where the narcissist devalues you and minimizes your achievements. Their criticisms are designed to make you feel small, inadequate, or incapable, which can destroy your sense of worth and even stop you from reaching your full potential. The narcissist will be hell-bent on maximizing your flaws and minimizing your positive characteristics. The third way narcissists try to keep you humble is blame shifting and projection. Narcissists are notorious for blaming others for their failures or whenever things do not go the way they want. They also refuse to accept responsibility for their bad actions. So instead, they project their own flaws, failures, or wrongdoings onto others. Narcissists would prefer to make you feel like you are the source of all their problems. They would prefer for you to carry that burden of blame, guilt, and shame that they project onto you to reduce your confidence and sense of agency. The fourth way narcissists try to humble you is triangulation. Narcissists would bring a third person into conversations or your relationship to make you feel insecure. For example, they may compare you unfavorably with another person to cause jealousy or insecurity, or they may get that third person to convince you to do what they want. Triangulation is used by narcissists to not only make you feel less valuable, but maintain their control over you. The fifth way narcissists try to humble you is gaslighting. They do this by distorting reality to make you doubt your own perceptions. They would also deny, lie, or manipulate facts to confuse you and make you question your own memory, judgment, or sanity. This can also lower your confidence while at the same time making you more dependent on the narcissist version of reality, which keeps them in a superior position. The sixth way narcissists try to humble you is public humiliation. Sometimes narcissists use public situations to embarrass or degrade others in front of an audience. This can be subtle, like a sarcastic comment or more overt, but the objective is to leave you feeling exposed and humiliated. 
I did this video quite a few years ago addressing how narcissists use humor to humiliate people. They love to put people down and claim that they are just joking, but these jabs are usually personal and meant to hurt and humiliate you. The seventh way narcissists try to humble you is silence. This is where the narcissist withdraws all communication and affection. They become cold and withdrawn, making it clear that they do not want to interact with you. Their silent treatments are meant to make you feel rejected or abandoned, instilling feelings of unworthiness. But also, if you chase the narcissist to recuperate their attention or affection, you are now subordinate, and the narcissist has become the prize. The eighth and final way narcissists try to humble you is sabotage. This is where the narcissist works in the shadows to deliberately keep you down. If they know of any projects or plans you're working on, they will look to hinder, delay, or destroy them completely. If the narcissist can prevent you from being successful, liked, or happy, they will. And that is why they will put in the effort to discredit you, smear you, and sabotage your efforts to keep you down. To conclude, it is clear that the narcissist does not want you to be happy. They do not want you to outshine them and recognize your worth. Instead, they want to keep you dependent on them and looking up to them but they never have your best interests in mind. They only want you to fuel their ego and make them look good. Narcissists are all about stepping on others as they climb to the top. Therefore, we need to remove ourselves from their influence and their control in order to survive and thrive. Okay, that is it for today. As usual, please share your thoughts and experiences below. I always appreciate the input my viewers give. Also, do not forget to like and share this video if you found it useful. Many thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.